Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my, I believe, second to last update before the finale of the HP 2020 Project Pan. This is a lovely Project Pan that was created by my good friend here on YouTube, Christina Chang. I will have her channel as well as the rest of the channels and Instagram pages that are participating in this Project Pan listed in the description box and the first pinned comment down below. So I've made a lot of progress. <laughs> I keep I feel like I, that's kind of like my go-to for like each one of these videos but we're not 100% there but we're definitely closer than we were before so let's go ahead and jump right in let's start with the boring stuff my Natasha Denona green brown pan palette uh I stopped working on this because I hit my original goal and I did not feel the need to like go forth for the extended goal that I set for myself because I'm trying to work on the rest of my products you know not just this palette not just products like in this project but outside of this project because I feel like I've been working on this for a long time I'm glad that these are the first Natasha Denona I'm glad that these are the first Natasha Denona pans that I have ever hit but I do not want them to be the last and spoiler alert I believe my 2021 pan that palette will be a Natasha palette so that is like the main reason why I'm not like putting all of my effort into panning more pans into this like palette because I really do want to focus and switch my focus in late 2020 early 2021 into my new pan that palette which is going to be I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it is going to be a Natasha Den Denona palette I'm a hundred like I am kind of sort of picking between two but I'm like 90% certain it's going to be one. So we're, we're there. So that's why I'm not focusing on this palette as much. But I have to say I really appreciate the fact that this project and this palette got me to make my first pans ever in a Natasha palette. Next, let's move to the other palette that I had in this project, the Collab palette. I've been working, I've been doing my best to work with the net last two green shades honestly so we have like a month left in this this project right the last day is december 13th i think i'll hit pan in this shimmer green shade i do not honestly i do not know if i'm gonna hit the like the goal for this matte green shade because i've been working with a lot of other palettes a lot of other shades single shadows and i feel like the shimmer green shadow i've had a little bit more leeway with as opposed to the matte one um, especially when it comes to like my shimmer single shadows or any other palettes so I think I might like hit the wall I I'm gonna do my best to work throughout November and early December to like hit pan on this but I think uh, my expectation is probably going to be I'm gonna fall a little bit short of my goal of hitting pan in four of these shades and then I'm probably I mean hopefully only going to hit pan in three of the four next we have a very exciting update we finished another goal yes we did and i'm wearing it on my eyes today let's jump right in so my two single shadows that i was trying to hit 40 uses of of course we already hit the 40 in the shade evil lurks and in the shade see you space cowboy i hit 40 shades in or on the date of November 1st, 2020. So I am really glad that I picked these two shades for this project because not only was it getting like, was it like making me reach for loose shadows, it was making me reach for green shadows more often than any other. And I love green shadows. And as someone who loves green shadows and is in quarantine still, like working from home every day, blah, 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 I needed that extra push to use green shadows more often than not. And I was actually getting like more compliments from my coworkers and like people on video calls that I was on when I was using green shadows shadows and like more deep kind of smoky looks so I'm really glad that I like made these a part of my project that being said I've used these for months and these are not anywhere near to being used up so I'm glad I am happy that I had this experience that I was able to use these shadows I do not think this is gonna go bad anytime soon but I'm glad I have the experience that I have now and it makes me want to reach for my other single shadows and like single loose shadows 
especially. So I'm glad I had this experience. I'm going to put these back into my single shadow drawer for a good long time, probably, because I've used them for so much. But I'm hoping that in doing so, I will bring out other single shadows, other underutilized shadows in my collection. So I'm happy I hit my goal for those shadows and it did exactly what I was hoping to do with that goal. Last but certainly not least, we have my highlighter goal. And I don't want to brag, but this is my second highlighter in this project. So I already had a highlighter that had a lot of pan that I finished and panned in its entirety for this project. So once I panned that highlighter, I wanted to bring in another highlighter that I really wanted to pan because I did have an actual backup of this highlighter in my collection. It's the only backup I've had in my collection. And this is the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. And can I just show you, I did not finish this, but I am so close, it's not even funny. Right? Right. So this is how close I am to finishing this dang highlighter. Look at it. Look at this highlighter. There's just that. I've been using that, like, little sliver. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to, like, do anything else. I want to finish this. So, as it stands the two green shadows in my collab palette and this highlighter are the last final goals I have for this project. So I think I said in my last update I expected to finish this palette by this update. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I have been using this literally daily. I'm wearing it today. I've worn this literally daily for the past I don't know how many weeks. I... If I don't finish this by the finale, I don't know what I will do. This it, There's only this much left. That's it. That is all that is left. I will finish this by the finale, and it will be, to this date, the second full highlighter I have ever panned in my life. Hello, it is your good friend editing Monica, and I'm here to show you that I did actually finish this highlighter because I filmed this video back on like November 5th or 6th. I'm editing this the day before it's going up and I have the completed highlighter now. So here is the highlighter in all of its completed glory. The only second full highlighter I've ever finished in my collection. How stunning. I will keep this packaging. I do like keeping packaging of like important products I've panned but I'm so proud of myself. So that means I really only have the one goal left, which are those last two green shadows in my collab palette. So that is my second to last update for my HP 2020 project pan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to check everyone who is participating in this project in the description box and down below. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.